Wow. Now, if you're anything like me, pinball machines, or the pinnies, as we called them back in the day, were a major part of our childhood. Many a teenage ah. hour was wasted at the pinny parlour. Trying to avoid the tilt. You got a yeah. tilt? Hang on. Don't get a tilt. You got a multi-ball? <laughs> Hang on, Dad, I'm concentrating. Oh, a tilt when you put the hip in, you know, get the hip into it. Anyway, oh, you got to avoid that. that. Pinball machines, though, are making quite a comeback. More of them are popping up in bars and clubs around the country. You all right? Got one? I lost my ball. Right. Here, we go. Oh, here we go. And it's winning a whole new generation of fans. Weekend Today reporter Jess Tancred has our story. There's a pinball wizard that has to be a twist. A pinball wizard got such a we all wanted to be the pinball wizard after the 1969 rock opera, Tommy. Even the Fonz and his friends kept the ball alive in happy days. They were the centrepiece of after-school domains, where you could get a mean milkshake and a hamburger. Then the PlayStation and the iPad came along and pinball almost disappeared. But a group of passionate players have saved it from extinction. Speech therapist Lee Hutton is one of the country's biggest collectors. Underneath his Mulgoa home in Sydney's Outer West, you'll find the Bat Cave, a custom-built room to store his 75 machines, each one worth the cost of a small car. I have a very understanding wife. I guess she just let me get away with it. For him, it's a flashback to his childhood. A lot of it is, for me, is nostalgia. It, it brings me back to being a teenager um, and playing those games. So what sort of an effect does playing pinball have on you? Um, it's, it is a, look, it, it's great fun. It can also be a great stress relief. Um, you know, you can come down here after a hard day's work and, you know, spend 45 minutes and, you know, you just forget about the world. But Lee is not the only one with his eye on the silver ball. This is what you'll find every Wednesday night at the Coogee Diggers. Last year's competition winner Pat Nichols says it's only growing in popularity. It started out with only about six or seven and now there's over 20 people each week, so it's, uh, yeah, everyone's getting a lot better. And at $2 a pop, everyone is welcome. We've got men and women, all ages, we've got fathers and sons, we've got builders, we've got teachers, we've got video editors. Helping fuel the revival are young people, like 26-year-old law student Kelsey Atwells. I think it has a sort of a vintage quality that would appeal to our kind of generation. Another competition high scorer is Paul Reed. For the proud owner of 19 machines he stores in a concrete bung under the house, it's a case of practice makes perfect. We practice an hour a day, but yeah, on a Wednesday night, four or five hours here. He's passed on his love of the game to his three sons, including five-year-old Kirby. who looks set to keep the ball wild for generations to come. Oh, whoa, I'm so excited about this right now. I just got a multi-ball, I kid you not, and midway through it, I got a tilt. So anyway, Pete, I'll let you talk about some new technology while I just concentrate on yeah. my research for the segments ahead. Yeah. Over to